Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video, we are going to be touring the Eagle 60. Now it may sound familiar, it may even look familiar, but that's because you've seen this home a million times. We actually live in the Eagle 52. This one has a few slight differences and I'm gonna point that out for you. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to let you see the entire house but I think I'm able to get the whole view in for you. There you are. So this is the front of the house. This is the front of the house. This is the Eagle 60. We'll walk down a little bit and let you see. All the big windows. It has the dormer um, roof, which is different. Our roof is flat, but this one has the peak which is called a dormer. So yeah, this is the Eagle 60. Also, another difference in this home and the Eagle 52 is that while this model is a three bedroom, two bath, this home has an option for making it a four bedroom. And I'll show you that on the inside of the house. So here is the back of the house. Got the back of the house here. There's your back door. All right, and we'll go see the front. All right, so let's go check out the inside of the house. Love this uh, hardware here. Your lock is here, and this is your hardware down here. I, I pretty much like that. I'm glad they allowed me to come in and see because this house is being sold. This is the view when you come into the home. I'll turn around. Let's spin around. See my Dunkin' Donuts over there? <laughs> spin around and let you see. This is the living room. So when you enter the home, you have the living room here. What I appreciate about this house is while it's open, you have this half wall here. So it's open, but at the same time, it gives it a bit of a separation. So you can see into the kitchen and dining room from the door or from the living room, but you still have a sense of separation in this room. And this is a nice size living room, you guys trying to catch my breath very nice so this is the eagle 60 living room and where you enter you got space here on this wall to create an entryway and then you have options you could even put your tv on this wall it's up to you but you have other options for how you you know display your furniture and your tv etc so from the living room, as I stated, you can see into the kitchen. I love the dark hardwood in here and they use the charcoal gray countertop against the white cabinets. Love it. So this is a view here. You've got this two seater island, same size as my island, you guys. It's a two seater island. You've got lots of cabinets and uh, you've got a few drawers in here. Um, you could use this for a pot drawer or you could do what I do and use it for like, uh, I have dish towels and stuff like that in mind. Uh, you've got your cabinet space in the island here and then you've got more storage over here around the refrigerator very nice you've got open shelving above the refrigerator and stove you can use it for decor as well as above the cabinets these cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling so you have room for decor or storage nice large cabinets Wonderful. 
Y'all, this gimbal has a mind of its own. I actually ordered a new one because this gimbal be going crazy. Okay, I had to wipe your face. <laughs> this is your dining room area. Lots of space here in this dining room. Again, I know this house looks familiar because you see me and mine all the time. The kitchen and dining room have the exact same layout. So you have your dining room here next to your kitchen space for a nice large table, even, you know, other furniture in this area. You're still Even other furniture in this area. So that's always a plus. But in the Eagle 62, through this door here where your laundry is, you've got space here for your washer and dryer. There's your back door there. And I know it's not a lot of space in this laundry room, but you have a bonus room through this little hallway. You have a pantry. Now it'll be kind of difficult for you to see, but I'll come in as much as I can. This is all the space that you have here in this pantry, which is a plus. You could, you even have room to put a deep freezer, maybe a half freezer right there. So you have lots of pantry space. Love it, love it, love it. Now this is a door here, but it just holds your AC unit. And in this one, your filter would go up here. Where mine just has like a grate just like this that comes off the wall and the filter is replaced. But this one has a whole door. So that's your laundry room and pantry. Love the pantry, you guys. Absolutely love having a pantry in the kitchen. Now, we've seen the living room, kitchen room, dining room, and utility room. Let's go check out the secondary bedrooms. Right here off the dining room, you have uh, the first bedroom we're gonna look at. So this is one of your secondary bedrooms. Nice size bedroom. I think it'd also be nice for an office if you didn't need this bedroom for someone. It would make a nice office, especially being off the dining room. You got your standard closet here. And then all of this space is your bedroom. So really nice. Nice size bedroom. I didn't go all the way and look in all the bedrooms, so it may be a smaller one. I may change my mind about this being an office, but I just think at looking at it at first glance, it would be nice space for an office. Next to that room, you have uh, a family room or den or nursery or children's uh, play area. Um, you could also use this for office space, multi-purpose room, etc. I think this would be a nice, if this was our home, it would be a nice man cave for my husband, especially being on the opposite side of the house from the master. It would give him, you know, space to have his, his man cave. Now, if you didn't need, if you needed four bedrooms, this is your optional area. You could order this space as a fourth bedroom versus it being your family room. So that is an option for you. So that is your family room. And then next to the family room, you have another bedroom. Same size as the first bedroom we saw love the big windows in here but all of this is your bedroom and then of course you have your closet right there so this one as i stated is a three bedroom two bath and it has a family room but you could order this home as a four bedroom without the family room your secondary bath is right here. There's your tub and shower over there. A one sink vanity and mirror. So really nice. Y'all know this house is, um, even though you may see things out of place, like I see the liner 
it's coming away from the wall there. I just wanted to point out that sometimes you see little things that aren't quite right, but if, if they sell you this home, when they release this home to you, or any home that you view, if there's any damage to the house in transit, or you come to view the home and you see that there are like things that are separating or maybe a crack or whatever, they repair all of that. And when you get the home, it's the way it should be. So really nice. So those are your secondary bedrooms over here. Let's go check out the master. This is the first home I'm touring today, so y'all know sometimes I have to get my thoughts together. Please any excuse any stuttering. <laughs> All right, this is your master. Seems to be the same size master as we have. Nice size master. You have space for a king size bed. You could put a little sitting sitting. Seating area in this room. It's just a really nice. I don't know if the camera is doing it any justice, but it's a really nice size master bedroom. And then you have your then you have your master bath right here. You've got your double vanity when you walk in. You've got a huge garden tub and toilet there behind the door. Behind the door, you have your, your shower here. Hope you can see it. But that is your shower behind the door. And then you have maybe another pan. And then you have your master closet in here. Nice size closet. Sorry for the darkness, but this home doesn't have light. The sale is pending, so they're getting ready. Once they close, they're gonna be breaking this house down. Nice size closet though. You really get the nice size closet. I did that and it took away some of the light. But if there are any pics online, you guys know that I will share those pics. Let's go see the price of this home, you guys. So this is the Eagle 52. Excuse me, Eagle 60 is out here at Yes Homes in Byron, Georgia. The price of this home with setup and delivery is $117,900. So $117,900 is the price of the home. If you're interested in this home, all the information for the dealer will be down in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.